Cameron High School. I'm Senna Nain. And I'm Leah Hardy. Watching Tiger TV. Attention students, those taking AP courses, remember Friday course is the deadline to pay for AP exam fees. Payment can be made on my school bucks. AHS is bringing back the annual World's Fair. The worldwide pandemic closed the borders, but now AHS wants to show the world that makes up our AHS home. Come to the AHS World's Fair on Friday, April 1st in the AHS cafeteria from 6 until 8 p.m. Experience the culture, customs, and countries represented in our community and classrooms. There will be food, music, fashion, and crafts to enjoy. No charge to attend and everyone is welcome. The Lockheed Martin $10,000 Renewable STEM Scholarship are now available for students studying eligible engineering or computer science majors. The deadline to apply is April 1st, 2022 at 3 p.m. AHS's prom will be at Park on Saturday, April 23rd, 8 and 11 p.m. and tickets are now on my school bucks. To bring more gender diversity to the technology industry, Prisma is launching the Prisma Diversity in Engineering Scholarship. The annual scholarship aims to encourage women to pursue software engineering studies and improve the diversity of the industry's talent pool. Two scholarship recipients will be chosen and awarded $5,000 each to support their education. The application deadline is April 18th, 2022. Yearbook staff applications are now available and are due by April 14th. Students can request a link from Ms. Hames, Ms. Gentry, or their counselors, as well as scan the QR codes located outside of 1324, 1226, and 1141. For anyone interested in dual enrollment at Southern U State Community College, choose one of the three Tuesdays in April, the 12th, 19th, and 21st, to learn more about this opportunity. Students who plan to take dual enrollment EMT and our dual enrollment nurse aid training class for 2022-2023 must see Ms. Lori Osborne in room 1003 during your third block lunch wave or during Tiger Connect, no later than Friday, March 25th. If you enjoy sports and helping others in medicine or physical therapy, then you should consider becoming a student athletic trainer. The applications for the 2022-2023 AHS Athletic Training Program are now available. Students can stop by the AHS Athletic Office or the AJS Media Center to pick up an application. The deadline to turn in is this Friday, April 8th, 2022. Attention students who will participate in the Makeup ACT will need to report to the SCOLA on Tuesday, April 12th at 8.15 a.m. AHS's FFA is selling local grown 1.5 gallon Boston furniture for 20 bucks. Payment may be made using cash, check, or my school bucks. All orders must be received by Monday, March 28th. Ferns will be delivered Thursday, April 7th. AHS's Key Club will be hosting Colors for Children 5K at AHS on Saturday, April 2nd from 4 until 6 p.m. This run benefits both Children's Hospital of Alabama and our Key Club. All members of the Auburn Opelika community are welcome to attend. T-shirts, colored powder, snacks, prizes, and more will be provided. Register with the Lincoln School G by Friday, March 25th. This Thursday, show choir will be performing for the school once at 1.40 p.m. and once at 2.30 p.m. The show is about 20 minutes. It's a great opportunity for students of AHS to see what show choir is all about. Tickets for AHS's theater's performance of Peter Pan are now on sale. Tickets are $10 each and all seating is general admission. Dates and times for the performances are... Friday, April 28th at 6.30 p.m., Saturday, April 30th at 2.30 p.m., Saturday, April 30th at 6.30 p.m., Sunday, May 1st at 2.30 p.m. I wonder what's going on around the school. Me too. Let's go check it out. Played perfectly to number 30 for the Tigers. And it's, oh, it's Miss Thompson plays right there. They have numbers this time. And number 13 for Thompson right there. And oh, a great save by the Auburn goalkeeper. Weighs it into Simmons. 
Simmons with what looked like an open look, and she makes it open looking. Oh my! Go back to the Lady Tigers, and now the Warriors with it, and the Warriors play it inside, and play it into Simmons who smartly kicks it out, and now Bishop trying to get the ball back, but it goes back to Thompson, and Thompson has an open look right here. Oh, just misses. See to Bosman. Bosman trying to make something happen. A great move and a shot. That's a now plays it inside beautifully to Simmons and Simmons headers McDade McDade has room to make the cross McDade looking to find an opening he always shoots it and he scores what a sh Thompson great touch inside by Thompson and saved by the keeper mistouch by the plays it up to Fane who Fane turns on his defender really quick and Fane has an open opportunity and scores Fane with in the score possibly take the lead and now they have an open man and it's here it's all or nothing and they score the Warriors with the game but like a center fielder Helms rocks, fires the 0-1, grounded back to shortstop Thornell. Up with it, throws on to first for the out, and there are two down in the inning. Dunks the pitcher for the Bulldogs. She'll be in the circle tonight wearing number one, and she grounds this right back to Abby Helms. Helms up with it, fires to first. How about that? One, two, position of the game. It's the 0-2 pitch from Helms, grounded over to Thornell at short. Going to be a tough play, throws it on to first. Got her by half a step, it looked like. Are they going to say she was up? out here of memory, Lyles? Trying to get out of this jam here in the top of the second inning. 0 oh, 2 pitch from Abby Helm. Swung on and missed. Strike three. Got. Me. Here is the first pitch to Harrelson. Lined in a center field, but there is Jaden Jordan under it. She squeezes it, and Auburn's out of. Has a rough start. It's starting to turn around here for the blue and white. 1 2 pitch. Hit her. Hit her on the arm. Ivy Davis looked like she tried to shortstop in from the right side. Gets the 1-1 one, one pitch, drives this one out to left field, and that is over the head of the left fitter, Lyles. Rounding third base and coming to the plate is Ivy Davis. She's going to make it with no throw, and the Tigers are on the board first. Kate Thornell drives a 1-1 one, one pitch double over the left fielder. Bag. But a quick runner in Thomas. Going to be hard to throw her out either way. Here's a 1-1 pitch, driven into right field. Back on it is Roberson. She can't come up with it. Around third is Thomas. She will score into second base. Now going for third is McKay Yunts. The throw does not get her in time. Yeah, KD Lee with a sacrifice bunt there in that inning. As here's the 2-2 pitch, swung on, lifted out to right field. Holly Roberson over, under, and she's got it for out number. Come. 0-2 pitch. Swung on, lifted into left field, coming on is Thornell. She makes an over-the-shoulder catch. Did she hang on? The Opelika catcher back at the top of the order for the Dogs. First pitch to her is grounded fair down the third baseline, right over the bag into the corner. Curry hops on that one out in left field, now going to throw it in. Had some trouble with it. Goes to third is Inland Thomas. Oh, they called her safe. Oh, they called her safe. Now on Ivy Davis, here's the 3-1 pitch. Miss is high, and Ivy Davis works a walk to open the bottom of the fifth inning for the Tigers, and the leadoff runner is on. Dying run down at third base. Here's a 1-1 pitch. Bunted out in front. Catcher has it. She bumps into the first baseman, and everybody's safe. Catcher's inland. Thomas K. Dug out, hopefully putting up a couple of runs. Kick and a 1-2 pitch. Swung on and missed, and a very quick inning. Allie Roberts sets them down off the bag. Now there's a runner at first, and there goes Jordan from first. Sliding in easy does Jaden Jordan. A stolen base for the senior. Far looking for just some contact here by Allie. 2-2 two -two pitch to her. Lined into right field. That'll get down for a base hit. Around third base is Jordan. Jordan coming home. She will score, and the Auburn Tigers have moved one run closer. Allie Roberts comes through with a single to right center field. Batting from the right side, looking to try and tie this one up. First pitch, lined into right field, but right at the right fielder, Allie Ann Blythe. She'll get under this one, throw it in. Runner moving up to third base.
does Ashland Hartland on that one. And there are two down in the end or down at third base. Auburn has moved to a run closer, three to two here in the bottom of the sixth inning, trying to get that run in from third. Here's the pitch to Ivy Davis, popped up into center field, coming on as the center fielder, and she dropped the ball! She dropped the ball! Ivy Davis going to go into second base. She'll stand there. Center fielder overran the Oh, one count on Thornell. Here's the 0-1 pitch. Lined into right field. That'll get down. Base hit. Around third base comes Ashland Hartland. No, that's Jana Storm. She will score standing. Gave the Tigers a big hit in the bottom of the six. Looking to give them a big pitch here. Right back to her. Caught in the air. And there are two down. Zinlin Thomas live backwards. Here's the kick and the fire. Swung on and missed. Strike three. The Tigers win it. Allie Roberts gets the strikeout of McKay. Yutz comes back after an errant throw. That's it for today's episode on Tiger TV. You can keep up with Tiger TV by searching AHS Mass Media on YouTube. You can also keep up with us on social media on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram by searching AHS Mass Media. And you can now listen to podcasts on Spotify, Google Podcasts, Amazon Music, and Apple Podcasts by searching AHS Mass Media. More episodes will be added as time goes on. I'm Senanane. And I'm Leah Hardy. Have, Have a wacky Wednesday, Alvin.